Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Anti-Trump Oprah Winfrey's house just got hit with immense dose of revenge. She asked for it. Oprah Winfrey's rampage against President Donald Trump has only slightly subsided for a moment after coming out strong saying she could run against him in 2020. She received an overwhelming amount of attention for her hateful remarks toward him on stage at this year's Golden Globe Awards. Mindless celebs and their supporters who have adamantly said about Trump that being rich and famous doesn't qualify him for office, shouted praises for rich and famous Oprah to be the 46th POTUS. The hypocrisy runs deep and her financial status, gender, and skin color do not make her better than our current commander-in-chief. Oprah made this statement for attention and ran with the idea, continually teasing it to get a reaction, while double-downing on her divisive sentiments toward Trump. It was music to leftists' ears and they couldn't get enough of it, even though the rest of the country had. However, just like all other celebrities who came out swinging, Oprah just got bit hard by the so-called Trump curse. In a shocking turn of events, after days of arrogantly acting better than our president, Karma just crept up on her and hit her where it counts. It didn't take long but was certainly devastating to the talk show diva. Many of her biggest supporters and Trump detractors were also part of the collateral damage. Oprah's nine-minute speech at Sunday's Ego Stroking Awards show generated two standing ovations from the Hollywood elitists and went on to prompt 220,000 posts on social media mentioning the words Oprah and President in only 24 hours according to the internet social media analytics company TalkWalker. Instantly, the 63-year-old was lauded for stealing the show which only to an insane leftist, makes her qualified to run the country. It was all a backhanded slap to Trump that Oprah was reveling in since our president is not one of her favorite people. However, despite how powerful she thinks she is, there's only one more powerful than her and she just woke up to that reality today in the worst way. It looks like Mother Nature just put Oprah in her place, proving that no amount of money, fame, or flattering awards speeches can spare you from natural disaster. The retired talk show host has suffered extensive damage at her massive California mansion after it was slammed with a devastating dose of mud. Mother Nature didn't forget about other Trump-hating elitists as well in her path of destruction, the Daily Mail reports. Celebrities including Oprah Winfrey and tennis legend Jimmy Connors are among the thousands who have been affected by flash flooding and mudslides in Southern California that have already left 16 people dead. Multiple bodies were found during the rescue operations on Tuesday in Montecito, 100 miles northwest of Los Angeles after downpours sent mud and boulders roaring down hills that were stripped of vegetation by a gigantic wildfire that raged in the state in December. Most deaths were believed to have occurred in Montecito, a wealthy enclave of about 9,000 people northwest of Los Angeles that is home to such celebrities as Winfrey, Rob Lowe, and Ellen DeGeneres. One person was also killed in a weather-related fatality in Los Angeles County. Mudslides slammed into homes, covered highways and swept away vehicles early on Tuesday when more than a half inch. 1.5 centimeters, of rain fell in five minutes, a rate that far exceeds the normal flash flood threshold. Officials said during a press conference on Tuesday that the death toll was 13. Santa Barbara County CEO Mona Miyasato emailed her staff shortly after so say the number had increased to 16, the Santa Barbara Independent reported. What's truly sad is that innocent people lost their lives in this disaster and should not be overlooked when talking about the devastation done to Oprah's mansion. Her home is repairable but families will forever miss their loved one lost in this tragedy. Mail Online reports who the real victims in this mudslide are, and it's not Oprah, although she'll probably make it about herself. The first confirmed death was Roy Roeder, a former real estate broker who founded St. Augustine Academy in Ventura. The Catholic school's headmaster, Michael Van Hecke, announced the death and said Roeder's wife was injured by the mudslide. At least 25 people were injured in the mudslides and others were unaccounted for as of Tuesday. Winfrey's home survived the storms, but she shared a number of videos on Instagram showing the knee-deep mud in her yard, a gas fire nearby and helicopters rescuing her neighbors. What a day! She said on the social media site as she filmed from her $50 million estate in Montecito. Praying for our community again in Santa Barbara. Woke up to this blazing gas fire. Then swipe left to see how deep the mud is in my backyard. Helicopters rescuing my neighbors. Looking for missing persons. If Oprah really wants to make a positive statement and change in this country, she can help with the overwhelming relief effort. She has more than enough funds to do it, just like President Trump has done for the victims in the Houston, Texas floods. I'd like to see her lending a hand and reaching into her pocketbook to put her money and time where her big mouth is. That was the news.
We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.